and I give the floor to the International Service for Human Rights. Madam President, esteemed panelists, many here have noted the importance of understanding the impact of COVID-19 on poverty worldwide, and we agree. While the pandemic has provided an opportunity to tackle inequalities, one year on it continues to have dire impacts on rights, and policies to address those impacts remain inadequate. In resolving these challenges, there is an important role for cooperation among all stakeholders, including civil society. And there's an important need to speak in clear and well-defined terms about the ways in which this cooperation can uphold all human rights for all. The VDPA commits states to reinforcing the important link between democracy, development, and human rights, with the human person as the central subject of development. People need to be empowered to know and to claim their rights and to participate in the decisions that directly affect them. As the former Special Rapporteur on Extreme Poverty reflected, Development objectives and human rights obligations are mutually reinforcing, but not synonymous. In other words, alleviation of extreme poverty does not and will not necessarily lead to the realization of rights. This Council should ensure that current approaches to development and development cooperation are being carried out in a manner that conforms to human rights obligations and provides meaningful accountability mechanisms. This means avenues for airing grievances and defending rights without fear of attack, and avenues to pursue appropriate remedies. In some cases, development initiatives had led directly to rights violations. In others, uh, gaps in rights protection persist despite high levels of economic development. This paradox undermines claims of a causal link between development, including poverty alleviation, and the realization of rights. Esteemed panelists, what additional elements should be in place to ensure that a decrease in the level of extreme poverty leads, in reality, to an increase in the promotion and protection of human rights? 